So just a demonstration here of using the Core i7 as a desktop. I'm just outputting via the micro HDMI port here on the tablet, which is just here in front of me. So I've got the uh, micro HDMI connected, and this is the power cable connected as well. So I'm just using it as a desktop. I'm outputting here uh, the screen on my monitor here. The ASUS is a uh, 2560 by 1440 resolution monitor. So it's running the native resolution here and the 1080p below on the screen. And as I'll just show you just what I can do here with running a few apps. So if I drag and move that over, you can see now that that's on there. So I'm definitely running both of them. Just going to see how many tabs I can run. It runs great as a desktop. So far the performance is quite good here. So I'm just going to run a few multi multitask a little bit, run some Chrome tabs, run some applications and just see how it handles all of that. So I'm just going to bring up a few more tabs here. Let's run some websites. My internet speed isn't the greatest so that might be affecting the loading of the pages here. But it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm just going to run YouTube as well. Whoops, not YouTube. YouTube. So a little bit of YouTube here. Run a video here. Break around, scrolling around. In Chrome. And I'll also just go and run uh, Internet Explorer 2. So I'm bringing up Internet Explorer here on the tablet screen. And that is still scrolling really fast. Let's see if I can uh, watch a video on that. You can see the screen there flickering. That's not actually happening here with me looking at it. It's something to do with the video. So that, that's running fine, very smooth there, the touch. No lag yet, that's only a few tabs, so we've got 4 gigabytes of RAM. And as I mentioned, my internet's not the fastest, so if I run too much video, it's probably going to lag out there with that. And just full screen the video. I haven't got enough internet speed unfortunately to play a 4K clip to stream that over the internet. Okay, so I don't want to step it up a bit more now, open up a lot more tabs. So just streaming some music there on YouTube. Run the Windows Store. So just doing some multi tabbing here as well. So just try and run things. Different tabs.
boot up paint as well, see if I can do anything in there. Print screen, screen dump. Okay, so screen dump in there. See if we're getting any slowdown yet. No, nothing yet. Task manager to have a look. So far, so good. So you get an idea. You know, you can run quite a few things here in desktop mode. You can do the same on the tablet there, um, and it seems to run just fine. Running everything like that. Just launch a couple of more apps. And switching between tabs here with in Chrome, that's still fast. Typing up some more tabs here. And then tick. So it's gonna load a little slower here because my internet connection is probably struggling a little bit now with the videos going on and whatnot. But that, that's still scrolling really fast. And Chrome as well, but Chrome doesn't scroll as fast. No, just open up some folders here. And yeah, everything's still running. Still running fluid, still scrolling fast on the tablet. Open up some more tabs in Chrome. Let's get this really, get it really working here. Tabs in Internet Explorer. So I wonder if I've filled up the memory, still at 72%, just down in the uh, task manager here. So it looks like I need to push it just a little bit harder. Chrome's definitely a good memory hog for that. It's going to load up lots and lots and lots of tabs now. So the news app here, still really fluid. It's probably my internet connection here is probably struggling now to keep up with everything I've got loading. Just a couple of tabs here. Starting to slow down a little bit between switching between the tabs and Chrome. Still the CPU is running about 45%. It's not really struggling too much. You can see the task manager here now. So it has been pushed a little bit the system. So memory is now at 82%. And into Explorer. Switching between the tabs there now, it's not too bad, there's a little bit of a delay. Just 
just run the store here. Okay, so you can get an idea that, yeah, that's can handle multitasking pretty well. Running it as a dips desktop here, you can use Paint. I will install Paint Shop and a few other applications later on and test those out as well. So that's just a look there on the Cube i7. It's a Core M tablet. It's running the 5Y10. Just using it as a desktop mode here. It seems to handle it just fine and it's a really good desktop. The system itself is getting a little, little warm. Because I have been pushing it just a little bit here, running all this at the same time. And you can see that switching between tabs now has become a little slower. That is in Google Chrome there. And the whole time I've been streaming the music there in the background as well. So, not too bad, not too bad at all. And we have here the tablet still running store and everything else that's still fluid that's still really smooth i really does a pretty good job so you can push the uh the core in quite hard and not bad at all i'd say still still running smooth still running everything here all right so thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next video if you are interested in this tablet uh, do subscribe i will have more up and coming videos bye for now